Did, are, have, they, have they given everybody a, an art of Hellboy? Uh, yes, they have. That's fantastic. Did you get one? I don't, I don't have one. Oh, yet. I'll give you mine, but I'd never get another one. I'll, 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 <laughs> I'll demand one early later today. Here we go. Hey. Doug. Yes. How are you? I am I'm skating on on, uh, on uh, thin air like, woo! I'm so happy, real happy. Yeah, uh, amazing performance. Thank you. And uh, it's probably just one of the, the greatest characters, you know, in film. I think, in terms oh, of creatures. Wow. Yeah. wow. I, I appreciate hearing that. I, I, I can't believe a word you're saying, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this time around, I'm excited because Abe's in love. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful? Yeah, and I'm like, finally, you know, he's yeah. just not a brain that he has an emotional side to. Yeah, and, which is uh, new for him, and, and he didn't know he had that side, you know? So uh, it's fun fun to, to discover that with him and, and help him help him work through his issues. And, and probably one of the most re strangest relationships in cinema. Uh, a, Between a fish creature and an elven and princess. An elven princess, right? Yeah, it's like, hmm. Huh. Well, but you know, it, it, he couldn't just find a girl on the street that was a human, and, and you know, that for a fish man mutant who's clairvoyant and and an encyclopedia intelligent, eh, he needs something special. And I think a regal princess who also has, you know, a, a clairvoyance about her. That works. That works much better. Match made in heaven. Yes. And it was good to see him out more and more in this movie because in the last movie he was stuck in the tank a lot. Well, you know, he had that little mishap with Samuel in the first movie, and it left him in the healing tank for the last third of the film while they all went off on a mission. So, uh, no, no, I think this time it was much more fun to, to see Abe, to be Abe, as we all stuck together as a team and went on this mission together uh, through throughout the entire film. And, uh, and it created more opportunity for buddy-buddy brother bonding time with Hellboy and, and brother-sister time with, with uh, Liz Sherman. And also, you know, our relationship with our crazy uncle, uh, you know, sort of in the family, which was Jeffrey Tambor's Agent Manning. So, uh, uh, no, that, that was, uh, what a fun family reunion this has been, really. What I love about Abe falling in love is that, I, I guess it's his first time, I'm going to assume yeah. that, he really makes the wrong decisions, doesn't he? You know, and just, well, you know what, didn't you? When you <laughs> fall in love the first time, it's like, you know, you, maybe you didn't come home on time. You, you missed your curfew a couple times. Maybe, maybe you were supposed to you know, uh, study for your math exam, but you're like, Instead, Abe's kind of going through that, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. And he needs so. to listen to Hellboy more often, who's been through some relationship roller coasters, but yeah. he's, love is blind. Love is seriously blind. And, and to, to, to revisit that moment of my life, uh, you know, w was kind of fun to, to get into this character and, and, and remember, like, oh, yeah, we all were young and stupid at one point and, uh, and let, let love uh, make our decisions for us when we probably mm, didn't make the right choice or whatever. Yeah. So what technique do you use? Five hours at least a day in makeup. What what kind of technique do you use to keep yourself from going crazy? Uh, well, um, uh, well, first of all, I, I actually do look like that in real life, and I, I, you know, I really am Abe Sapien. Yeah, I, uh, I. Uh, this is a makeup. I'm kidding you. Okay, it's all for the funny. Um, no, I'll tell you what. Five hours of makeup every day is a. It's a. Uh, it's, it's, uh, you would think it would be grueling and, and just hellish, but, but when you say yes to a role like this, or like the Angel of Death that I also played, or the Chamberlain, you're saying yes to the whole character, the visual included. That takes five hours to put on, period. There's no way around it. So, uh, so you take it on as, as an opportunity to have a facial massage every day. Look at the positives. Um, I have a lot of time to visit my happy place. I have, <laughs> you know, I have a lot of time to, to get to know my makeup artists who are brilliantly wonderful people as well. So, um, and, and those five hours in makeup does help with this fantastical otherworldly character that you get to watch be built on you. And by the end of the process, you are organically that being. Hopefully, that's where we've gotten to. Amazing performance again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.